Well, the Fighting Irish and Notre Dame capped off their first undefeated football season since 1988 Saturday night with a win over Southern Cal. Now they move on to the national championship, and that's something we can feel right here. We went to Elmira, Notre Dame this afternoon to talk about what it means for the school that models itself after the Irish. The 12-0 Notre Dame Irish likely await the winner of the SEC championship, either Alabama or Georgia, in the national title game January 7th. So a little bit of a layoff here, but the model of success does make an impact on the field and in the classroom. And if you ask Coach Mike D'Aloisio, the Irish have already made history. It's great to bring recognition to uh, Notre Dame High School, too, be, because having the same name. This is the first time in the history of the BCS as well as the NCA that a team is ranked number one in football. And also um, their graduate, graduation rate is number one in the country. More changes coming to the Big East Conference. Tulane and East Carolina will join in 2014 and leave Conference USA. Syracuse and Pitt will join the ACC this year after leaving the Big East. A total of six Conference USA schools will now be in the Big East. So go figure that coming up to the Big East. Well, Cornell quarterback Jeff Matthews is a finalist for the Bushnell Cup Award, awarded to the Ivy League's best offensive player of the year. Now, Matthews won this thing last year. Jeff had 18 touchdowns and over 3,100 yards in the air for the Big Red this season. Oh, another Horseheads athlete signing to play at the next level today, and you'll find this one on the greens. Horseheads Casey Harder signed to play golf at Gandon University today. The All-State golfer and Section 4 champ, she's ready to take her talent to a bigger stage. From high school to college is going to change a lot. I'm going to have more practices, <laughs> balancing schoolwork and college golf with that. Um, but I think it'll be good. Well, congrats to Casey on the honor. Some hockey, give it up for Cornell goalie Andy Isles. He's the ECAC goalie of the week for the second time this year. Pretty good. Isles saved 26 shots in the frozen apple game in a 5-1 win versus Michigan on Saturday. Now the Big Red, they're 12th in the country in the latest poll. Some baseball, more Andy news right here. Yankees pitcher Andy Pettit is finalizing an agreement that will bring him back for a one-year, $11 million deal. The 40-year-old Pettit was 5-4 with a 2.87 ERA last year. Sports info here, a little Andy sports info. Pettit has an MLB record 19 postseason wins, so pretty good.